Hello, I'm James, and today I'm going to be making a painting that can track you down. If you enjoyed watching Scooby-Doo as much as I did growing up, you probably loved all the secret rooms, trap doors, and all the other mysteries that plagued every haunted house the gang explored. However, one thing that I always wanted to make was one of the paintings whose eyes followed you across the room. Today, I'm going to be making one with a cardboard box, some Arduino components, and a special device called an ultrasonic sensor. On one side is the transmitter. It sends out a high frequency sound wave that'll hit and bounce off any object placed in front of it. On the other side is the receiver. It accepts and records the sound wave that is sent back. For this project to work, we're going to be using two different ultrasonic sensors. By using two instead of one, we'll be able to track the direction of the person moving and make the eyes of the painting follow them. By using some code that's so simple even I could write it and a schematic I made on Tinkercad, we're ready to get started. I have my setup ready to go. I have the servo that'll move the eyes and the two ultrasonic sensors that'll detect the movement. Let's see if it works. It does! So this is the box I'm going to be starting out with. These outside edges are gonna act as the picture frame. This front face is gonna be where I'm gonna paint my portrait. And then uh, the servo is gonna be right under here and it's gonna poke out for the eyes. And then the ultrasonic sensors are gonna be on either side to detect the motion of the person. Right now I'm making sure all of my different components fit into the cardboard box housing well and gluing them in place. So this is where I'm at right now. I have this main platform lifting everything off of the breadboard and all the wires to keep it clean. Uh, the ultrasonic sensors are on either side and I still need to secure them and cut holes so that they could see and detect the motion from the person walking by. And I have my servo right in the middle uh, with its arm reaching out and the next step is to secure these down, put the holes in, and then also start making the mechanism for the eyes so they go back and forth. And now here I'm cutting a little hole in the back so that I can easily access the battery on and off switch. And then I put a little point at the top so I could easily hang it from a nail on the wall. And now it's time for me to get started on creating the eye mechanism. I'm creating this little pie slice shaped piece of paper out of construction paper and I'm gluing it directly onto the arm of the servo. You can see I've added some dots for the eyes just to get a general idea of what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to test it just to make sure it's working how I'm expecting it to, and it is. Next, I'm going to be cutting the eye holes out of the front of the cardboard box. And I think I did this step a little backwards. I think I should have probably cut the eye holes out first and then drawn the pupils, but uh, it's going to work out. I did have to redo it because there was a little gap in the right side of the eye but now I'm gonna be adding a construction paper support so that big piece of paper isn't just hanging off the servo. And now we're gonna test it one more time and it's working exactly how I had hoped. I thought about what I wanted to do for the portrait and at first I thought I was gonna do one of those old fancy portraits of like royalty, but I ended up going with the most suspicious animal, which is of course a goose. The final step in this project, of course, is the paint job, and this is where it really all comes together. I had to do a lot of layers because the red pen I used was bleeding through some of the wet layers of paint, uh, so maybe use a pencil and not a pen like I did. Then it's time for the final finishing touches, and it's ready to be hung. Really quickly, here's the back side where you could turn it on and off and where you hang it. And here's the final paint job. I'm really happy with it and love the personality the goose has with those eyebrows. Now all that's left to do is to hang the goose up and see which unsuspecting victim catches it watching them. If you enjoyed watching me create this piece, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. 
It's free and helps me keep creating more videos.